I know most people don't like to watch these kind of videos, but actually these are the ones that you need to be watching instead of watching those videos. But I talk about my cardio or workouts and stuff like that. Like these are the ones that are really important. Hey guys, so this is the video I was supposed to make a while ago regarding the mental and physical challenges that happened during uh, body transformation. So uh, what you see in, in a regular body transformation usually on social media is that uh, you see the before and you see the after, but you don't really get a lot of in-depth information regarding what goes in between. So uh, because of this, I actually made a video um, about like how to deal with cravings and now this is the side where I'm going to talk about like mental and physical challenges that occur. This video is going to be more like a behind the scenes of a body transformation. So I will talk about like how I felt. And aside from that, I'm also giving you tips and suggestions. So make sure to watch the video if you're serious about going through a body transformation. Okay. During my body transformation, it was a six month of body transformation. For the first few months, as I said in my other videos as well, um, I wasn't feeling like anything diet wise, okay, in a, in a bad way, okay? Everything was fine for the first few months. But uh, on the month like four, five, six, I start to feel more and more about like being on an actual diet, okay? So uh, it's because of the diet fatigue eventually that builds up. Uh, with the diet fatigue building up, uh, it's a mental challenge. So you need to understand that a body transformation is a mental challenge rather than a physical one. The physical side of the challenge is actually a lot easier. You break mentally rather than physically when you go through a body transformation. Okay, so that's why uh, when we most of the average dieters actually fail because of that reason. It's about like the studies show that it's about like somewhere around like eighty five percent or something that average dieters fail on a diet. And this is the exact reason, because people fail mentally, not physically. A lot of people can take physical challenge, but not mental challenges, okay? So um, the diet fatigue builds up and it comes to unbearable levels eventually, which uh, happens like on the, on the like, last few weeks of uh, body transformation, if you're going like really low uh, body fat levels. So uh, it doesn't feel nice, of course. And because of that feeling that you constantly have with the diet fatigue building up, uh, it's going to affect you mentally a lot. It's going to change your personality. It's going to change your hormone levels because of the insufficient nutrients you've been taking. And you're going to basically turn into a bitter person, okay? Most likely. Uh, it happens, like, I would say at least 99% of the people that I know who go through uh, this kind of a dieting process with, like, very low body fat levels in the end. Uh, they literally become a different person, all right? So uh, this is one of the things that will happen. I'm going to get into a little bit more detail uh, throughout the video. So uh, another thing that happens, which is also physical, is that your needs decreases because of your nutrient levels being too low, right? And also your activity being too high. So your need levels, basically non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is basically your daily activities that you do when I'm talking, I'm like moving my arms, right? Uh, or like, you know, uh, I'm active, you know, cleaning this, doing that, doing chores, all that kind of stuff. So uh, your need will decrease significantly and it's going to happen subconsciously, uh, which you're not going to be aware if this is your first time. So you're going to end up, for example, like in myself, right? Uh, while I was dieting, especially on my six month, I swear to you, there were like times where I would sit on a spot and I wouldn't move for hours without being aware of what's going on. And then I'll be like, whoa, I haven't moved for like, you know, two hours. So I would go and move. So basically when your need decreases, you need to be aware of the situation and you need to try to move as much as possible. That's also one of the things that causes a weight loss plateau, which I mentioned in my video uh, regarding weight loss plateaus. This is something that occurs very often to people. They go to uh, low uh, calorie intakes uh, they create a basically a big deficit and then the body shuts down basically like subconsciously not necessarily shuts down i mean uh, you know what i what i'm trying to say here um it basically decreases all your kind of activity so that it will be able to save more energy which will lead to weight loss plateau okay so your need will decrease and one of the things that happens when your need decreases is that you're going to appear to be a more lazy person okay you're going to be lazier basically if you've been lazy, you'll be even lazier. And if you weren't lazy, you're most likely gonna start 
looking like you are a lazy person, okay? This is one of the things that you need to keep in mind. So you're most likely gonna be doing less chores and all that kind of stuff. So you need to constantly remind yourself that this is more like a subconscious activity of your body's reaction. And you need to basically fight through it, okay? Um, of course, being, you know, your diet fatigue and your need levels decrease and all that kind of stuff, you're gonna be psychologically drained. Uh, what do I mean by that? Think, of, think about yourself like, uh, um, I don't know, think about like maybe a very difficult puzzle, okay? Let's say you've been focusing on a puzzle and you're trying to solve that thing for like hours and hours on end, and then eventually you're gonna feel like you're psychologically drained, like you just don't wanna engage with anyone, anything for a while. This is the kind of stuff that you're gonna be experiencing. And when you're going to a body transformation, it's gonna be a little bit different in a way that uh, you're gonna be more impatient, uh, and you're gonna lose your temper. Uh, you're gonna have basically issues with your temper levels, okay? So it's very important to remember this, that this is gonna happen. And there is a reason why I'm talking about all this is that, especially when you're with people, let's say you have a significant other, right? You have a husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, whatever you have, or your best friends uh, close to you, right? You need to communicate with them very well about this kind of stuff that happened during the body transformation, especially like when you're going through, as I said, where you are coming to low body fat levels, if it especially is your first time, all right? So you need to talk about this basically and communicate with the people around you because these are the people who support and most likely cheering you up throughout the whole journey. So um, you need to make sure that they understand what you're going through, okay? And you need to always remember that it is not their problem, it's your problem. So you need to figure this out by yourself. But you just need to remind them that, hey, look, I'm going to be going through this. And anything that occurs during that period, uh, don't turn into something personal and doesn't affect your relationship with other people on a long term. Okay, so uh, you're also going to be experiencing joint pains. Uh, think about it like this. You're basically like constantly exercising and then... Uh, because your nutrient levels are really low, you're on a big deficit, your recovery time will be a lot higher. And also uh, your joints, basically, they are going to start hurting more, okay? Uh, on the last stages of a body transformation, if you're going for low body fat levels. And that's also going to cause like more psychological issues. Um, because you, I mean, think about it, like not necessarily in a context of body transformation, think about it in any kind of context. Let's imagine that you're constantly having physical pain. It's obviously going to affect you mentally. Okay. So it's the same thing, uh, because you're constantly on a physical pain, it's going to affect you mentally and being affected mentally because of a physical pain, you're gonna experience some other stuff that's related to that, like, as I said, patience and temper and all that kind of stuff, all right? So uh, another thing that I think really needs to be mentioned is that your libido. So, um, I mean, <laughs> so your libido, uh, I'm not really comfortable talking about this kind of stuff like a camera, but uh, I mean, uh, it's important, I think, to uh, tell everyone about like what kind of stuff goes on behind the, you know, behind the scenes of a body transformation. Uh, when you're getting to low body fat levels, uh, first of all, I'm a very healthy person. Okay. Let's put it that way. So everything functions completely fine. Uh, but when you're getting to low body fat levels, uh, your body basically is a reaction as a survival instinct. It goes like, it thinks that because your body doesn't know you're doing like something for, you know, whatever purpose you're doing it, right? Maybe you're preparing for a competition. Maybe you're just trying to be healthy or maybe just, you just want to see how far you can go with your body fat levels and see your six packs and take some pictures or whatnot, right? Your body doesn't know what's going on. So for your body, what it thinks is that, okay, this guy is starving to death. So we are going to shut down reproducing functions, right? So that, because what it thinks is that even if you reproduce, the offspring is not going to be able to survive while this guy cannot keep himself alive because there is not enough nutrients, basically, okay? So, uh, and your hormones shut down, basically, and your libido is going to disappear, okay? There's not going to be a libido. So this is also something very important in a way that if you're going to go through this and if it's your first time or you're with someone who doesn't know what kind of stuff that you're going to be going through, this is something really, really, really crucial to talk to them uh, way beforehand, okay? 
uh, because it may lead up to like bigger issues when you suddenly like lose all your libido and you know how the person is gonna feel all right so make sure that you talk to whomever you are with and explain them that your libido is gonna disappear it doesn't mean that um, all the problems gonna go away but it's better to tell them because when it happens you're gonna be able to say hey I told you so like this was gonna happen okay so you need to make sure that you communicate this uh, before everything all right it's very important it affects relationship people break up because it's kind of issues of, like you don't want to be appearing like you're cheating or someone okay you're like losing weight and like suddenly like you don't want to you know engage in any kind of activity with them um, so it's very important all right and for ladies another thing when we talked about hormones for ladies what's going to happen is that your monthly cycles especially because you're uh, very insufficient in your nutrients your monthly cycle is a female uh it's going to be affected it's going to delay most likely uh depending on you know uh what your levels are basically but it's very important for you to remember that because this is also going to affect your hormones and it's going to affect you mentally too so uh be prepared for any kind of stuff that happens like that and if it is like really unbearable you need to always remember that uh, you can go back to maintenance levels of dieting. You can stop dieting. It's always an option, all right? So please remember that. If it's really, really unbearable, that's, there's always an option. Option doesn't mean that you go back to your old self. Uh, the option is like you go on to maintenance levels, okay? Uh, and another thing, of course, during about a transformation is that uh, when your nutrient intake is like really low, your calorie deficit is high, you're going to experience sleep deprivation. I experienced this significantly on my last month. And that's also going to affect you mentally. As I said, no matter what the context is, if anyone is experiencing sleep deprivation, you're going to have mental issues that come along with having not enough sleep, basically. Um, the thing about sleep deprivation is that you cannot do anything about it really because uh, sleep deprivation happens as a survival instinct uh, your body basically doesn't want you to sleep too long it wants you to get up and go some get some food okay so uh, don't take like sleep medication or stuff like that it's most likely not going to be helping you for this so you know don't waste your money and also don't take like unnecessary medication because of the body transformation you're going through and the high calorie deficit that you're in uh, another thing is that socializing and uh, how you're feeling basically throughout the journey so socializing socializing aspect if you're very serious about your goals I would try to put them in a minimum uh, because when you especially like if you're Caloric deficit goes a little bit high, right? Maybe like on my third month, fourth month, fifth month, and so on, right? You're not going to be the fun at the parties, let's be real, all right? So you're not going to bring a lot to a party or any kind of social activity. So um, it will be better that you don't engage in social activities because you're not going to feel happy, I most likely think so. Uh, I personally haven't felt anything like that, right? So, I mean, like, you go to imagine, let's say you're going to, you know, have fun with your friends. Everyone is, like, let's say, drinking or eating whatever they want, but you can't. So, you're going to be upset because of that reason, and then that is going to reflect to other people as well. So, you're not going to be a lot of fun, okay, to hang out with. So, uh, I would keep that to a minimum. You can do it for a few months. I mean, right? Like, you have to go through this if you already plan to go through a body transformation uh, you should keep that in mind being away from social activities for a few months or keeping them to a minimum is not going to kill you all right and your friends going to be your friends no matter what if they're really your friends right and um, also in the last few months basically because all these things basically building up your sleep deprivation your uh, diet fatigue your mental drain and all this kind of aspects right uh, you're not going to be feeling really good. Um, but as I said, be aware of what's going on. Like these videos are really important, actually. I know most people don't like to watch these kind of videos, but 
actually these are the ones that you need to be watching instead of watching those videos but I talk about my cardio or workouts and stuff like that like these are the ones that are really important uh, because these are the ones that kind of prepare you mentally for any kind of transformation that you're going to be going through and it basically teaches you the experience okay so these are the most important ones and you should be I think watching these more often than the other videos that you watch because the other ones are not going to make too much difference but these are the ones that are going to make difference because you learn from the experience of others actually all right yeah I guess I mean that's pretty much it for this video uh if you like the content please like the video uh if i forgot something or if you have any other questions please feel free to comment below you know i always reply to them and subscribe to the channel please and thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one